What's going on everybody? Today we're working with the Xbox 360 console and I'm going to be showing you how to do a swap with your Hitachi disk drive and this is just when you've bought a whole new Hitachi drive and you want to swap it out straight up. Um, there is a few tricks to this. You cannot just take your new drive and plop it in here and plug it in and throw out the old one. It doesn't quite work like that. Um, this is also the not the only method to do this. There is another method, but it's not the easiest, um, and that's called flashing. Um, it would take a lot of work and a lot of research for you to understand what it would take to flash a drive, or you would pro possibly just have to have uh, go to find someone that would do that for you in most cases. Um, but there is one benefit I'll tell you about flashing it is that when you use the method I'm going to show you, you would ha like for this you would have to buy a Hitachi replacement drive to replace your Hitachi. But if you flash it, you can put any drive in there. So you could put the newer ones, the BenQ or the Light on, instead of uh, the Hitachi. So that is one benefit to it, but the work just really isn't worth it, especially to people that don't have time to spend weeks setting it up and learning how to do it. So, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started here. The only thing you're really going to need once we get to this, once you're at this point, is a little uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Um, if you're not sure how to get to this point where you have to open it up and get it opened up and popped open, I'm going to put a link in the description to another tutorial that will show you how to pop this open and get it to this point, and then you can come back to this tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do first here is we're going to pop it out and then start unplugging these cables just like that and I'm going to take this console set it aside and I'm going to flip it over um, and we're going to take out all these screws you see here and there's six on the Hitachi probably talk about the weather or something right now, but I think that's pretty irrelevant. But I know it's kind of quiet while I do this part. of the shell off. And we're also going to kind of pop the bottom half off. Alright. Now, this PCB board is what we're going to have to take out. Um, what you got to do is you got to have, you got to take out this PCB board, which is short for print and circuit board, and you have to put it in the new drive that you just bought. Um, the reason that is, is if you just tried to uh, switch it out without putting the old board in the new drive, it wouldn't play games. It would only play movies and DVD discs. Um, so what we're going to do to start out with is we're going to go ahead and unplug a few of these. Um, just pop out that, which is the eject motor. And that's the spindle motor. We're going to pop that out. And then the laser, there's actually a little brown plastic piece. You can't just pull this one out. What you got to do is you got to kind of slide it out and pop it up just a little bit, and then that will pop out too. But the main thing is just slide it out. Most of the time, if it hasn't been touched, there's a sticky stuff on the other side. Um, now, on this side, there's a little black clamp right here, and what you got to do is you got to push this out this way while you pull it up. All right, so I'm I'm gonna push this out and then pull the drive PCB up at the same time. I still don't rip it up, you could end up really screwing something up. So, there's one more left for this worm motor right here. I'm going to pull that out. And then that laser ribbon that we've already loosened up, I'm going to pull that out. Wow, and that one's really stuck to this. Good grief. It's like somebody super glued this. Just be careful if it's stuck like this one is. You could tear the ribbon, you know, don't rush it, just 
and get it little millimeter by millimeter until it's all the way pulled off. Because if you if you ruin this PCB board, you ruin your entire Xbox. All right, now I'm not actually switching this with a new drive, so uh, this drive actually works perfect. So I'm just going to kind of make this disappear, and voila, this is your new drive. Now with your new drive, you will have a different PCB board in there, so you will want to take the old one out, or the new one out, I guess you should say, um, and then put your old one, your old one is the one you're installing back in. So what we'll do is we'll start with the laser, get it stuck in there, the laser ribbon, I should say, and we're going to close, make sure to close that little brown clamp back up by pushing it all the way in. And if you're not sure, you can give it a little tug, you know, if it doesn't just fall right out, then it's locked in there. Then we're going to put the worm motor back in since it's one of the shortest. Then we're going to put the spindle motor and the eject motor. Alright, now, on this side right here, there's a few little places where that actually kind of slides back in. So you got to kind of insert that in first on this side and then pop it into that little clamp that you had to pull back earlier. And that's all there is to that. All you got to do now is get the outer shell and pop that back on. Like so. Now there are two different types of screws here. You can kind of, maybe I can get you to see the difference here. Um, one of these is very finely threaded and one of them is coarse which means the threads are farther apart. The one where the threads look farther apart, those two go in here. So the, the, the wider thread, one goes here and here. I just hate to see you strip it out. It wouldn't really make a massive difference if you had to leave one or two of those out, but I'm kind of particular about making sure I get everything back exactly like it is. So that's how I'll teach you to do it as well. And that's pretty much it for this. Uh, I'll show you how, uh, you know, you plug it back in after you screw everything back together. Um, but really, that's it. Um, I hope this helped you out. I definitely had a lot of people ask me or say that they went and bought a new drive. And when they switched it out, it wouldn't read games, but it would read movie discs. And this is usually why, because you don't switch out that PCB board and um, so the keys do not match and it won't it won't allow you to play games a good indicator if you've done that done it like that or if you if you still get that after you've done this then you might have put the old uh, you might have just accidentally put the wrong PCB board in the new drive um, but a good indication is if it will play DVDs but it won't play games at all or it'll say you need to insert this into an Xbox 360 console even though it is an Xbox 360 game if, they, if you get that, then uh, go back and switch the PCB boards again. So we're just plugging this back in. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, make sure to subscribe. I do a lot of cool stuff with repairs. Uh, just about got it to where any little thing can go wrong. I've got a tutorial for now. Um, got a lot of cool case modding stuff and modding tutorials. Um, we also offer repair parts now. And I know Tinker Mods is just about ready... We're just about ready to launch all our Xbox 360 repair parts, so eventually there will be a link where you can actually buy a Hitachi drive if you're not sure where to get it. And uh, honestly, from some of the prices I've seen on other websites and even on eBay, my prices are lower than any of those guys anyway. So make sure to check it out for yourself if you don't believe me. And uh, anyways, guys, until next time.